Greetings, Celestial Earth Angelics of the Ground Crew Team of 144. Happy Equinox, September 22nd, 2021, 2222 Portal 44 of Divinity. It is on, the heat is on, the fire is lit. It is go time. We have a special transmission for you today before our full transmissions the, tonight. This is an autumn equinox prayer ceremony to celebrate this most auspicious day of the great shift. We use nature as a rhythmic reminder, a friend, an ally, and an inspiration. Everything said and done can be done in a divine light. If we keep this underlying tone, the following words hail from many different traditions, and this is from the Archangelic Calendar. Specific points of interest from the Macro Goddess Collective, Autumnal Equinox 1220, September 22nd, 2021, MST, Tipping Point into Day by Day Expansion. This Virgo season is brought into laser-like focus how one's small decisions rapidly become wider choices in this present timeline. It is now time to get our essence and life into a blissful, heart-centered balance at the exact moment of equinox, when there are equal portions of light and dark. With six planets in retrograde currently, we are being allowed to reevaluate our core beliefs, see through our self-made illusions, and become more self-reliant. We will experience internal expansion and align with our sovereign self while releasing all which no longer serves. Ultimately, this leads to deep healing down to the cellular level. So long as one makes steady decisions that support the highest expression of the soul's essence and mindfully caring for the physical vessel, expect to experience multiple defining moments once we cross this threshold of the fall equinox. The situation is a pivotal time and discernment is crucial. Maintaining a healthy connection to one's quiet center within an inner intuition will assist with rising to meet challenging moments that may present to serve a higher purpose. Many will feel a conflict of interests as their core values evolve to accommodate their higher frequency, so difficult decisions will be necessary. The collective's focus will expand subsequently, and we will see a continuing rise in the voices of the masses accordingly. In its highest expression, the equinox invites us to rediscover one's juicy center of inspiration, passion, and joy that we may have lost or felt we needed watered down or left behind to accommodate this earthly realm. It is imperative to remain open and in a state of surrender to universal flow so that the transformation can occur. And now for the ceremony, face east. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the east. In this sacred place of cosmic alignment, I summon forth the energies of purposeful creation to assist me in setting the tone for the upcoming season. Implement an atomic shake by purposefully rattling physical reality down to the atomic level. Imagine and feel the atoms of your physical reality in a state of hyper-movement. Face southeast. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the southeast. I summon the divine energy that makes a billion suns burn bright, and I channel this energy to my here and now to enhance and contaminate all of physical reality with the vibrations of peace. List the things that you are grateful for and project these energetic signatures into the quantum field. Face south. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the south. As I face the direction that evokes the element of fire, I bring forth notions of positive circumstances that all can share. Create an ideal world for yourself and the planet, macro and micro, in the present tense. Things we need in this now. Please be humble in your micro desires and outrageous in your macro vision of the world as it will be. Then engulf this effort in the following flames. White, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, brown, teal, gray, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. Face southwest. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the southwest. 
I choose to live with wonder in my heart. I am one with the beauty and power of this sacred occasion. Envision and feel yourself connecting with the galactic center through the solstice alignment. Absorb this energy and distribute it around the earth freely. Face west. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the west. As I face the direction that evokes the element of water, I bring forth notions of long-term beautiful circumstances that all can share. Create an ideal world for yourself on the planet, macro and micro, in the long term. Things we wish to manifest in the future. Please be humble in your micro desires and outrageous in your macro vision of the world as it will be. Then engulf this effort in the following waters. White, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, brown, teal, gray, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. Face northwest. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the northwest. I am so incredibly blessed, and I appreciate everything and everyone joining me in this intention. I send love and appreciation to all that is co-creating this beauty. Envision holding hands with everyone joining us today. Then open your heart chakra and bless the earth and all of physical reality with emerald green light, emerald green plasma, and pink ray light. Face north. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the north. I choose to stay connected and grounded to Mother Earth. I ask that this connection heal my physical body. Envision roots coming out of your root chakra. Bury them deep into the Earth's core. Then envision and feel rainbow plasma coming in through these roots and blessing your physical vessel. Face northeast. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the northeast. I know that only the Earth and Sun's perception of its position gives this day power. I ask them to bless these words as they are from the purest of hearts. Envision yourself from a higher perspective while you are doing this puja. Be sure to include the position of the earth and sun during this higher gaze. Then bless your efforts from above. Connect with all directions. I face my mind, body, and divine essence in all the unnamed directions. There are unlimited powers available to me at any moment. By connecting to all the named and unnamed directions, I summon them all simultaneously. There is nothing but love for you in this world. This love comes in from all directions. Please drink in the universal love waiting at the gates of your soul by drawing in the profound and loving energy around you. Bring your mental gaze deep within. I face my mind, body, and divine essence within. To discover the alignment of the cosmos originates from within. And now meditate. I will now play my Native American crow flute for you for the next seven minutes or so while you're meditating that will bring you out of meditation. Namaste.
And now, as we gently come out of meditation, please say the following words aloud, Metakwiosin, 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 Aho! This equinox ceremony was from our friends at ArchangelicCalendar.com. Thank you for joining us today on this most beautiful, blessed equinox in the sign of Libra, the sign of balance, harmony, peace, sovereignty. Have a most beautiful and blessed equinox journey in this great ascension process. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these great works to the world, you can make a pledge or donation at our links at egolovecondor.com. And in these great shifting times, always remember, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I and my mother, father, God are one. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart and shine brightly into the night. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.